Hello fabulous doll people. I have a really quick box opening. It's little. Um, <clears throat> I was not expecting this doll today. Or this box. It's not at all. You know, easily. But uh, <clears throat> in fact, there was a little pile of boxes when I got home. And my <clears throat> kids get a lot of stuff in the mail. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. So I figured oh, it was for my kid. No, nope. And then this one was for me. And I was like, what could this possibly be? Well, <clears throat> Mother's Day, a bunch of the sellers on Etsy were having sales. And so I was going to buy these two doll outfits I've been wanting. Um, they were like $90 off together, you know, collectively. And it was, I think, Sophie's Toy Paradise. And they only took PayPal. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I can do the pay and for for PayPal. And it wouldn't let me for some reason, which I still don't know why. But I was like, well, whatever then. Um, and originally I had gone on looking for eyes because I went onto the Pasha Pasha site. And there was just no way... Those 14 millimeter eyes are going to work for my Pasha Pasha. I, I can't remember if I, I feel like I ordered them because that was the smallest size they had and they were such beautiful eyes. Um, and I was just going to see, but I just don't, I just don't see how that could possibly work. But one thing you'll learn if you ever hit the 20 plus doll club, uh, somebody will always wear something. So it's not like anything you ever get that doesn't work out. It's not really that big of a tragedy because some doll will wear it but I did want her to have eyes because I had touched base with um illness and she's um still struggling with her hands and her eyes but she's almost done with my posture because I said I really wanted to get her a wig and like I totally understand her health problems and everything and, and that's fine I don't care but um I would like to get her a wig and if she hadn't started her I said maybe I said just send her back and I'll just you know because she, she was free anyway um and I said I'll just you know, get her wig and then we'll worry about it later. And she said, oh no, I'm almost done with her. So then I thought, ooh, you know, I want to make sure she has her stuff. And um, so I had gone on to Etsy looking for other eyes because it became clear to me that the ones I had weren't going to work. So I was going to get eyes and then I saw that the dresses were on sale. I was going to get the dresses and then that didn't work. So I was like, fine, I'm just going to get my other stuff. So I got two wigs and six pairs of eyes. I got two eyes from two different shops and I got four from another shop. Because her eyes are really pretty and they're not very expensive. And the ones that I wanted were sold out. In fact, I just worked everything out with her today. But the two wigs had already shipped. Like, I ordered them Sunday and they were already shipped. And I was like, there's no way, they're already here. And then when I read the, the return address, I was like, oh, I know what this is. I just totally forgot about it. I turned into that person. Have I turned to that person? Have I always been that person? I've probably always been that person so these are um, from two separate splits uh, fairyland splits that Nicolette Theater Rescue did um, one was from I want to say she was the moth girl I'm totally drawing a blank on her name she is a mini fee and I got the little butterfly head pieces I actually had got them thinking I'd put them on my twiggling off ingenue but with her hair um, it, with the wig I got her wouldn't work but, you know, again, plenty of dolls, they'll go on somebody. And then while we were waiting for that to come in, the mini Fimiwa had come out and she had the little Cheshire cat and I got him and he's so adorable. She sent pics of him and we didn't get painted because she didn't get the designer. So nothing's painted. Um, but what it is, is it's the clear, the body is the clear resin that's purple and then the head is the only thing that's not painted. And I'm thinking of almost painting it like still in the purple, but with the pattern of my cat. It's the cutest. It's the cutest thing. Anyway, I'll put it that way. We have a storm coming in. I'm supposed to be getting my plants in, but my niece went to pick up my daughter. And I thought, ugh, now it's going to be it. And my dogs are semi quiet. I've been having one of my dogs is, oh, uh, she'll be ready to be bred this weekend. So, of course, that means we're having dog drama because my stud is being slightly crazier than usual um even though i don't think we're going to use him this time i haven't broken news to him yet but i think it's going to be him this time it will be eventually but not this time so so this box came all the way from the united kingdom and it looks pretty good it had one little it's a little squished in the corner like not too bad it's in pretty good shape I love to do business with Nico. She's, um, she just, in the splits she does, she does, like, tons of splits with Fairyland. 
I don't know how she keeps <laughs> she keeps it straight. She is the best person to have run a split. Like she is just on top of it. So and she's she's fun to fun to talk to and deal with. So little butterfly things came in the middle. It's probably exactly how they came from Fairyland. <clears throat> and it smells so nice. I've noticed that uh people's boxes smell very nice. So oh. So now the only thing with these that I didn't actually notice when I bought them is they have these little poofy things that are glued on and I might, whoever I have flush them, I might have them take them off. I have to decide what doll they're going to go to because well, I remember thinking I had bought, oh wow, they're really pretty. I had got the, the blushed pair and then when she said, no, we didn't get that, you had to get the deluxe kit, I guess. So they're not blushed and I thought, you know, that's even kind of cooler because then I can have a match that all. Oh, it's very nice. It was like a, a little jewel on there. Oh, it's gonna wanna. Oh, it's very nice. They're very pretty. I was thinking of reaching out to Pep Stars and seeing if she could do it. I, cause she has. Um, I know she has an airbrush, and I feel like these are really gonna need to be airbrushed. Oh, look, it's. That's weird, cause this is clear and it's totally focusing on this, and it won't focus on anything else half the time. So there's those. I don't know who to give these to. I actually, oh, I just had like a moment right there. I had um, planned to do a couple of moth witches or fairies. I haven't decided. Um, maybe one of each. I actually have a pair of horns being made. Sparrow, BJD, um, opened up commissions. And she does these horns that have like a shell pattern. And she's making some for me that are um, kind of like the Luna Moth colors. And so I'm going to do a Luna Moth. Uh, fairy girl and then um, I could do because I kind of wanted to do the what are you doing cookie the death's head moth one and I, maybe I could do the colors that sort of go with that no what are you doing down there so anyway my dog is just sitting like right next to me staring up at me like what she's lost her mind it's finally happened she's up there talking to her of course, Cookie probably assumes I'm supposed to be talking to her, and I've somehow missed the mark. As far as Cookie is concerned, everything I do and say is revolving around her. I keep saying her name right now, so she's just probably lost it. Like, what are we doing exactly? Okay, I don't know why these boxes perpetually confuse me, but I have the hardest time figuring out uh, how they open. And this is what the little Chester cat came in. Well, I'm sure again, probably directly from Fairyland. Um, very well packed, very well taped. Um, if you guys ever see one of Nico's splits and you want to join, you don't have anything to worry about getting in, getting into one of her splits. She's really good at it. She's really on top of it. Zero idea how to open this box. Oh wait, okay. I've never seen here. I was like, what the heck? I was like trying to find that little flip-up spot and there's just a seam. I don't know why my brain has to make everything harder. It's like it's not hard, but you gotta, you gotta make it difficult. So I can't wait to see this guy. I'm so excited for him. As soon as I saw him, oh my I fell in love with this thing. In fact, I fell in love with it so much I was like, I might have to make a mini me doll to tote this little cat around. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, it reminds me of my little cats. And it even comes with eyes, which I guess is good because I don't know how you would change the eyes on here. Let me see. Let's get him out. I don't know if my hands are dry or I'm just getting, my carpal tunnel is getting worse, but I have a really hard time with small things, like opening small things like this little tiny plastic bag again. Oh, it's so Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, this is the this may be the cutest resin thing I've ever I've ever got. Look at him. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh, you can see his little floof. Is he almost oh he's this is so cute. He's so well sculpted. I wish that he wasn't quite so actually, you know, it's kind of out if it'll focus 
Just gonna, oh, he's so adorable. Oh my gosh. I... I'm in love with this little thing. Oh my goodness. It looks so much like my cat. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Okay. So cute. Okay, that's adorable. Yeah, he's adorable. Okay, he's a good size, too. He's got a lot of weight. So I guess the clear resin is really just as heavy. And you can see he's glued together in pretty three parts. Oh, I love this. This is uh, probably the best money I've spent in a while. Look at that. Greatest thing ever. Yep, clearly, obviously. Yeah. Anyway, I was going to do like a catch-up video on this one, but I probably don't have a lot of time. And I like mangled one of my plants while I was repotting and I'm really worried about it. Um, my, my niece who's, she doesn't have a degree, but she's like a really planty person and she wants to, whatever she does with her job, she wants to be with plants. Told me it's going to be fine, but I feel like I killed her. I probably didn't, but anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. So I'll probably have, I'll probably do like a catch up video in the next couple of days because I'm sure I'll have, um, I might get those two wigs on the same day. Like it's amazing to me that they shipped out so fast um the one i had in my cart for my bubblegum goth goodall nadja which i'm hoping i'll get a shipping notice from them pretty soon i mean i paid it off january or february and they were both marked as pre-order dolls and i think it said you could take three to four months i'm guessing what the the process is is once you pay for it then they let them know and then they ship it to them and then they ship it to you so um, and I think, I think I'm dealing with them in Japan first and then, and then they have a place in the U.S. It's Dolk. I don't know. But it definitely hasn't been long enough for me to start bugging them, that's for sure. But I want to, but I'm not going to. But when I get those wigs and I open them, I'll get the outfit out because the outfit was really the inspiration. So I had to put the Dallas Dolko wig in. And it was the colors that I wanted. It's very shiny and has kind of the ringlet curls. And then I saw this wig, which was on really good sale. Like, they had taken quite a bit of money off of it. And um, it was this, kind of the same colors, but softer. And then they had styled it as straighter, too. But they had style. It looked very soft. And I thought, oh, that one's that's pretty cute. So I got them both. So whichever one doesn't suit her, she won't wear, and somebody else will. But anyway anyway so there's my quick little opening um hope you guys have a great dolly day thanks for stopping by and i'm gonna go rescue my plants before it's like snowing at my sister's house i feel like i'm gonna be sick it's not gonna snow at my house but we are supposed to have rain and it is gonna get down to like 32 or 33 or something and a lot of my plants that i bought this year are like can take negative zero or into the, not negative zero can take into the negatives um but I'm not going to push my luck because they're babies. So everybody's got to come in. And I don't have a lot of space. So it's going to be... It's going to be interesting. And people are going to be mad at me. It is what it is. Anyway, thanks again, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.